The last time we were together, the link had surrendered into the blacksmith's hand. And now for the conclusion of Changing a Chain. The link stepped off the anvil and into the blacksmith's hand. Using a pair of tongs, the blacksmith picked up the link. And brought him over to the furnace and placed the frightened link into the fire. When it was time, the blacksmith removed the link from the fire. He then brought him over to the anvil, and with one of the hammers, he began reshaping the link. The link didn't like what it had to go through, but remembered what the blacksmith had promised. The blacksmith put the link back into the furnace several more times before he was finished. Then he let the link cool down. After a while, he polished him until the link shone brighter than before. The link knew that his real change was on the inside. Before the link returned to the chain, he asked why the other links rusted so easily. The blacksmith said, some don't want to go through the fire as long as necessary. When the link heard this, he was glad he let the blacksmith do what he needed to do. He thanked the blacksmith for all he had done. Later, when the link arrived back at the rusty chain, it reconnected. The other links thought it was just a matter of time before the link would begin to rust like them. After a while, they realized they were wrong. As other new links were added to the chain, they heard what the blacksmith was able to do. They were convinced to go to the blacksmith after seeing the difference in the link that didn't rust. Some of the rusty links like what the blacksmith had done to those new links. So they decided to go to the blacksmith. Yes, they had the desire to change also. Some of the other links that were there for a long time sadly just stayed the same. This didn't upset the links that went to the blacksmith. They were glad to have made the right choice. And besides, those links were aware that over the years, the rusty links would eventually fall off. Then, there would be no more rusty chain. Let the change begin with you. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life. For more stories by The Storyteller, go to www.joeystory.com.